Hello crafties, welcome to another tutorial. My name is Infinity and I am back again with another super easy crochet stitch tutorial. This stitch tutorial is beginner friendly. Um, yeah, so this is called the spider stitch and it is super, super pretty. Um, it's also reversible so it looks good on either side. It's very textured, it's good for washcloths and scrubbies. Um, it's a nice scarf texture. I would try working it in a hat. I don't know. Would I? Because it's, it's, it's a stitch that works up in single crochets. So I don't know about that. Hmm. But scarves, definitely. Maybe blankets, things like that. So um, enough chatter. Without further ado, I'm going to go ahead jump right in. Alright, so crafties, the spider stitch is worked in multiples of two. Here I have already chained 12, and so I am ready to begin. So you will chain whatever number of stitches you like in multiples of two. And once you have the width of your project, then you're ready to begin this super easy stitch. So what you want to do is skip this first chain on your hook and you're going to single crochet into the second chain from our hook. And then you're going to chain one. And you're going to make a single crochet in that same stitch. Just like that. Alright, let me zoom in because that might be a little hard to see. Alright, so basically your rows are going to be a repeat of this. We are going to skip this next chain. We're going to work into the next chain. Insert our hook make a single crochet. Now you're going to chain one and single crochet into that same chain. Super easy, right? And this is the entire pattern for row one. So second stitch, we're not going to work into this one, we're going to work into the one right after that. Single crochet, Chain one, single And we have two chains left in this row, so we're just going to work into that last chain, skipping the other one. We're going to single crochet, we're going to chain one, and single crochet. Alright, and this is what row one looks like. So now onto row two, we're just going to turn our work. And we're not going to work into this first stitch, but we're going to work in that chain one space. Which can be a little hard to see, so watch your tension. And we are going to single crochet, chain one, single crochet into that same chain one space. Right? And we're going to skip the next stitch and work into the next one. Single crochet. Chain one. Single crochet. Alright, we're going to skip this next stitch right here. And work into the next one. Single crochet. 
chain one, single crochet. And we're going to do this all the way across until we reach the end. And I will say, you may have to pull apart these stitches in order to see which chains you should be skipping. Alright, and then going to work. And the end of row two. So basically what you're going to do is keep working this pattern back and forth across your rows until you get to your desired length. Um, my swatch here is good, a good sample of that. <laughs> so going back and forth with it I was able to get this again cute textured pattern. It's pretty pretty thick, it's pretty stretchy as well, so if you wanted to do that, definitely blockable, so like if you needed to block a pattern um, using this, you could. It's good for like a lot of outerwear, I don't know about the whole hat thing unless you made like a square and then sewed it together, that might be an interesting idea, but definitely scarves, blankets, um, cuffs on gloves, sleeves on sweaters, things like that. So I hope today's tutorial was helpful for you. If so, go ahead, leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on weekly content. I post crochet tutorials every Sunday, 9.30 CST. Um, I am on a, so many, so many social media platforms. I am on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, um, Reddit. Pretty sure I'm missing one at this point. But anywho, that's it for today, and until next time guys, happy making.